Okay, Leo. Uh oh. <laughs> Yet another way to exfiltrate data from air gapped computers. We've talked about, you know, all of the all of the crazy emanations that computers generate. You know, back in the day, you used to put an AM radio on top of an IBM 1401 and play Christmas carols by changing the the length of the of, of, of the loops in order to so that AM radios set in between stations would pick up different audio frequencies as a essentially a, a heterodyne of of the carrier that the that the big computer was emitting. Um, and of course, all of our machines are are shielded and insulated uh, from from generating uh, radio frequency interference. But we've talked about how you know even a cable extending out of the machine creates an antenna that that allows people to to obtain information. And then there's the screen, you know, that where you're able ju just from the again from the 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 leakage. Of, of RF, radio frequency information, uh, through a wall, the image on the screen can be recovered uh, without, without seeing it, just based on the emanations. So some researchers have gone to the next, well, I don't know if this is the next step. Th this is really, <laughs> this is like obvious in retrospect, but not something we probably need to worry about too much. And that is, you know, they, they ask themselves, what else does software have control over in our computers? Well, software can control the fan speed. And, and believe it or not, <laughs> no. for, the, for, just, for just sort of for some giggles, as they say, these guys thought, let's, let's do the math. Let's make it happen. So they analyzed the spectrum of sound generated by a the, the a PC cases fans and they wanted to they wanted to to find a set of frequencies where it wouldn't be obvious to someone sitting there that the fan speed was changing so they settled on 4100 rpm and 4500 rpm just moving the fan back and forth or fans back and forth between those two speeds. And it turns out that it generates a, 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 a significantly distinctive frequency that a spectrum analysis of the sound made by a smartphone four feet away is able to differentiate. Now, this is, is because of inertia, it takes a while for the fan to get up to speed or down to speed. So uh, the best these guys were able to do is 10 bits, 10 binary bits per minute. That's um, like the Mars rover. <laughs> it, <laughs> yes, it's more, it's slow Morse code. Very, actually, it's slower than Morse code. You're right, it's very slow. <laughs> that would be 600 bits per hour. Which for a for, for a full day would be fourteen point four k bits per day. Now, of course, old modems were fourteen point four k bits per second. So this is painfully slow. On the other hand, it works. So, so you know, imagine a scenario where I mean, you you can sort of imagine maybe. A, a, a system where well, now you, you would have to first infect this machine. It would have you'd have to want data out of it that you can get no other way. So you know it's it's infected in some bizarre means where you know the infection is one way, yet you will never then it has no network connection, no no Wi-Fi or wired connection. It is air gapped, yet. You have some facility that is hi-fi audio and a means of listening to this thing, and you can export 14.4 kilobits of that machine's <laughs> private internal data per day. 
Uh, you know, if it were just a, a PGP key or something, that'd be enough. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. There are, for example, that's a very good point, Leo. If, for example, it was protected with TrueCrypt right. or Veracrypt or any of the encryption tools, as we know, while those drives are mounted, the key must be in memory in order to drive this the symmetric encryption and decryption. So the, the weakness of those is to, to anything that's able to... to, to access the process running the the crypto uh, could find the key. And we've seen those exploits. And exactly as you say, those keys are, you know, they're what? Typically 256 bits. So, you know, uh, a there couple hours. Yeah. In a related and story, a, a hacker has modified his uh, floppy disk drives to play the Game of Thrones theme. <laughs> 